Hey guys, so today I wanted to create kind of a focal point with a sentiment more than normal. Because normally we just kind of tuck it in a corner or, you know, it's kind of just there. So this card I really wanted to focus on the sentiment, but still have a lot going on in the background. So what I'm doing is just a framed sentiment card, <laughs> which is probably what I'm going to name this title, or the title of this video, because I'm not really sure if there is, oh, like a name for it? I'm, I don't know. But all I did was start with a normal card base, and I did it in like this really silvery gray, and I did a mat of purple, and then I did my white, which is what we're going to use for our framed sentiment. I go ahead and stamp this witch hat because our the kind of theme for my card is going to be a witch. We're going to use her broomstick, we're going to use her hat, and we're going to use some purples. So it kind of screams witch to me. <laughs> so here is the broomstick and I went ahead and set the sentiment down just so I had an idea of where I needed to end my frame because it has some of these stars on the end of the broomstick and I wanted to make sure I don't interrupt that sentiment space. So I just take the end of this broomstick and go all around the page as like a frame and I love how the stars add an extra like oomph. <laughs> it just looks so good. I didn't, I really debated like just cutting that part off so that I could use just this, the broomstick, but now I'm glad I went ahead and kept that because the stars look really good at the end. I know it looks kind of weird. So now I go ahead and take some Distress Ink in purple. Well, actually, I don't know what the name. Wilted Violet. The purple one. <laughs> and I took my cotton ball and just kind of blended it out. I took a really heavy hand on the center and then just kind of spread it out on the rest of it. It doesn't look as good here on the camera because it's, the camera is whitewashing it, but it looks really good in person. I mean, it looks okay on the camera, but it, you can tell a difference when you see the final product that, you know, when I show it to you at the end. So now I'm taking a Sunflower Windsor and Newton alcohol marker and going over the broomsticks, which in normally it would be too orangey, too yellowy. I would need more of like a brown tone, but because that purple is back there, I didn't really need an extra color because that purple did an excellent job on that. And then I'm taking a yellow Windsor & Newton alcohol marker and dotting all of those little stars that are um, see-through or <laughs> just the outline. Uh, some of them are solid and some of them more the outline. So I just took the yellow and dotted the outlined ones. So now for the witch's hat, I am just coloring it with, ooh, I don't remember, plum and, oh, uh, I don't remember the other one. Amethyst. Oh gosh, that really... <laughs> I just used it, come on. <laughs> and I just did the dark parts with the plum, so that way it was, you know, kind of like shadow, kind of more like a black hat with a little bit of purple seeping through. Because it had a lot of shadow on the hat, and that worked out great to make it look like it was a black hat with just like a tint of purple. So I'm cutting that out with a little bit of white surrounding it because I didn't want a close, I wanted it to be able to stand out really nicely around that purple, since it is purple on purple on purple. <laughs> I wanted to have that little border just to make sure it was able to be seen. So now I'm going to place my sentiment with some stays on, just right on top of that ink that's been dried. And then we're going to put some foam tape on that witch's hat. But first we're going to put the card together. Here you'll see my mats. The frame sentiment goes on the purple, and then the purple goes on the gray, the silvery gray, on some foam tape. 
<clears throat> and I'm also going to do the inside. I know I don't normally do the inside, <laughs> but I thought I would for this one since I already had the mask cut. And I just end up putting a few little uh, strokes, well, it's just a very soft hand all over of that purple ink. Just what it was ever, what was ever left, that, that doesn't sound right, what was left on the cotton ball. <laughs> And then I put the witch's hat on. And there it is, guys. I hope you liked it. Thanks. Bye.